Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about how to create or add controller in ASP.NET MVC application. So in my last video there I discussed about how to create a new ASP MVC application using Visual Studio 2019. So add here to create the controller. So here you can see controller folder is there. Right click on it here and now here go to controller. So here you can select a different option. So and here I am going to select MVC file controller and here this all detail entry controller. Now click on add. Now here giving the, the controller name test. Now here after click on Add. and you can see test controller that added and here public action result index and a return view so return view so when you execute or debug then that comes to this point and here I'm going to do modification so right here taking a string and here return so here I'm going to write I am test controller now control has to save so let's execute and check the output and here I'm getting the output hello world how are you so because and here if you go on home controller this is return hello world how are you and that is just created test controller here I return I am test controller so I want to to this controller output this controller value in the browser so for this we need to go on Add here app start here rot control and at this place we need to change home to test so add here this is home controller we need to or replace home by test now control has to save and when they're done right click on the controller so add here this time that will display I am test control into the process. So I am test control that is displayed. Now if I replace here I am test control. Then you execute the code. So add here controller has so two controller first is home and test. So when a controller comes to this point, so add here root controller. So add here there is a test. So when that comes to so that on the test controller. So into inside the test controller there is a return and the test controller so that it's a display all this contents into the browser. So this is the way we can create the container on ASP.NET MVC. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next.